Hello there, this is Uncle Nos, the bearer of good news. If you see me for the first time, I want to say welcome to my channel and for my existing subscribers, you are doing the right thing for helping us grow in this channel. I want to also say thank you. Now, if you've not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to this channel because what I do here is to give you information about traveling, about studying abroad, about scholarship, about job, just name it as long as you have interest in going abroad. This is your number one plug and we have been getting results and people have been telling us so much testimonies they've been getting from our channel. So if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to this channel and also click on the notification button so that you can be getting updates whenever I post something new. You don't know when I can be breaking something new like this one I'm going to say today. You don't want to miss it. This is not the video I plan to do, but I just have to bring it out. But before I continue, like I said, subscribe and also give us a thumb up because it helps us to grow this channel and share with your loved ones. So today I'll be saying something that is very important. In fact, like I said, this is not a video I, want, I, want, I really want to do today, but um, when I saw this news, I decided to do it, um, talk about it because who knows when the government um, is going to um, run it up or end it. We don't know what is happening because things are happening fast around the globe. So I'll be taking you down to North America. We're going to be going to Canada and I'm going to be telling you one very important thing about how you can migrate to Canada on a certain kind of visa that people don't really talk about. And it is very important that we know about this thing and talk about this thing. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. You're welcome back. If you see me, like I said, you're welcome back. If you've seen my beautiful, my handsome face for the first time, please subscribe to this channel and give us a thumb up if you love what I'm doing here. So I want to talk about this um, Alberta Advantage Immigration Program. Yes, you hear me right. Alberta Advantage Immigration Program. So this program um, was instituted by the Alberta government or the Alberta government in the Alberta region or province in Canada to help them bring in migrants into the, the country because each province in Canada or most provinces in Canada have their own uh, provincial nomination program to enable them attract qualified workers, skilled workers into their provinces so that they can uh, improve their economy. Now, Alberta is not left out. They are doing everything they can to bring in skilled workers, migrants that can help them boost their economy by going directly into the workforce. <clears throat> now, like I said, this program is a different type of one. Now, the Alberta government has now gone further in, in order for them to improve the um, economy of their rural communities like your villages in Canada. They, want, they are looking for how they can improve uh, the economy of the villages and the towns in Canada, not just, the, not just the urban settlement, but the rural settlement. So they developed another program they call the Abata Rural Renewal Program or STREAM. The Abata Rural Renewal Stream. Now, what does this stream talk about? In this stream, what are they trying to do is to bring in people into their villages where they have less population because they know that when people come into those villages they help them boost the economy boost the population because the more the people the more the spending capacity the more the um, financial boom of the community so they want to bring in qualified people like your agricultural worker like your nurses just anybody who they think they need in those communities your doctors they want to bring them your it personnel your mechanic your welder, your plumber, they want to bring them all into these communities. Now, this program is to help communities where they have less number of people, like I said, and less number of workers, because some, some of these communities, they have like less than 10,000 people, less than 25,000 people. So they want to bring in more people to boost these, people, these communities. So what does this program entails? Now, this program entails you getting job in any of these communities. If you are able to get job in any of these communities, now, what you would do is to now contact the community for them to give you an endorsement letter. You need an endorsement letter from this community, um, from the Community Economic Development Organization. So once you are able to get job from any of these communities, I'm going to be listing them, then you get an endorsement letter from the community um, 
Economic Development Organization and you meet other criteria like have the, the necessary language which is probably English language or French language whichever one is your proficiency get them the just little forms then you are on your way to Alberta you apply for the permanent residence and certainly because of that job opportunities you've gotten you are most likely to get this permanent residence now it is not um a fuse it's not like it's joke or something but that is what it, this program entails these communities i'm going to be naming them you just have to look for job in any of these communities ensure that you meet the, the, the requirement the language requirements um, ensure that you have necessary funding to keep yourself till um, you get to Canada ensure that you get this endorsement letter from um, this community but the most important thing is getting a job from these communities that is the most important thing so if you are still with me um, I will implore you to please like this video share this video and subscribe to my channel in case you have not subscribed to my channel i'll be right back to give you the list of communities that you can apply to get job in canada all right so in case you are just joining me i'm talking about the alberta rural Ren renewal stream which allows you to look for job in rural communities in alberta when you get this job you get this letter of endowments from the community development organization then you apply for your PR. Now, I want to give you the list of communities that you, that can help you or when you get job from them in Alberta, you're going to apply for permanent residence immediately and you move with your family. Now, remember the catch is you must get job, get a job, a job that is in the short occupational list from any of these communities I'm going to be naming. Then you get this endorsement letter that you can apply for your PR. Everything will follow. Now, you might be wondering what kind of professionals are needed. All kind of professionals. Whether you are a doctor, whether you are a nurse, whether you are a lab scientist, whether you are Bobo Tibu, whether you are a teacher, whether you are a, 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 a welder, whether you are a tiler, painter, whatever you are, as long as you have the necessary skills. They need people in Canada, they need people outside Canada. So don't say because I'm based outside Canada, I cannot apply. No, you can apply. They need people even in Canada. Don't say because I'm inside Canada, I cannot apply. You can also apply. All they need is that you need, you have the required skills and you have the necessary documentation that they need. All right, so let's start listing the names of these communities. Now we have the value, um, value view community. I'm looking in my note because there are a lot of communities here. You have the Lloyd Minister Community, you have the Town of Elk Points, you have the Halifax Community. Now, if you are still watching me, you know how I do all my videos, I drop the link at the description of my videos. So I've been putting the link of where you can get jobs, the, the, the communities, I'm going to be putting the, in fact, every information you need about this will be at the description of this video. So you see where you can apply for job, you see the communities, you see the program, everything. I'll be dropping the link at the end of this video in the description link. So if you have followed my video, you know I always drop the link. So please watch to the end and check the link at the description. Everything will be spelled out for you. All right, so we have the town of Redcliffe. We have the city of Brooks. You have the town of Horseshoe Bay. You also have the Force Creek. You have Drum Town Valley. You have town of Bow Islands. You have the St. Paul's, the county of St. Paul. You have the city of Halifax. You see the uh, city of uh, Medicine Hat. You have the Hives Creek. You have Fairview Community. You have Cypress County. You have city of 40 Miles. And a whole Spruce Grove is also there. And a whole lot of them. Um... These communities, when you apply for jobs, all you need to do is apply for jobs in any of these community, depending on your profession, your, of your skills. You don't need to, you must not be <clears throat> a professor, you must not be a, a master degree holder, as long as you have at least YEC and you have 
and if you are a welder or a, a, a hairdresser you have a qualification to show about your skill if you are a tailor if you are a welder you are a plumber make sure you are certified to show that you have the skill because abroad even if you know it they need to show certification to show that somebody on organization has certify you fit or qualified or suitable to carry out that trade you know how to do that profession you know how to do so look for job in any of these communities i will try my best to put the names of these communities also so that you can know and also look for job in any of the communities get a job get these documents this and uh, get it doesn't make documents and voila you are on your way to alberta canada so we miss again please share this video to a lot of people like i said it's not what i wanted to talk about today but because of the we don't know when the government is going to end this program so we have to share it so that you can go and apply and share it to as many people as possible so we meet again as you may not please stay safe